Captain, good to see you. I know this will sound crazy, but I need your help. The armies. I think I've come up with a way to turn the assembly against Victor, but for it to work, I'm gonna need allies. That's not crazy, Zack. He's out of control. Something needs to be done. The army always remembers a good soldier's loyalty. Sure as hell can't help you officially, but we'll do anything we can for you under the table.
were supposedly signing a truce with Aurora. Can you imagine? After everything they've done, they attacked our you city. You admire the rebels' idealism, <laughs> even if it's as likely to obtain as sprouting wings that'll fly us back to Earth. Be careful. Army's not exactly fond of pacifists, and those in power aren't exactly fond of those who want to change things. You go to the rebels for help, you're gonna lose the army's support. Hello there, Zachariah. What do I owe the pleasure? Well, now that you're asking, with Victor and the ASC after me, my only options are to keep running or retaliate. To retaliate, though, I need some allies. I know you're right. No, it's a worthy war you'll wage. No, I owe you. But I can't risk joining with you, Zachariah. Don't know you well enough to trust you with my life. Or the lives of my men. I am sorry. And, despite all that, I wish you the best. Wish you success. For our sake, and yours. No hard feelings. Had to ask. Goodbye.
we come. Someone sounds excited. Well, duh, the landscape's drop-dead gorgeous. As for the city, integrating with the valley's natural overhangs and alcoves to avoid using a metal dome, pure genius. It makes me worry about getting fried. And we'll always be strangers there. For now, most mutants don't have an innate hatred for humans. We just need to give them time to heal. Still, we'll never be able to walk a mile in their shoes. And for that, we'll always be outsiders. I ain't mad, though. If I were them, it'd be my personal mission to fuck up every single humanoid who said good day to me. Right now, we must focus on uniting our nation. I understand you find it difficult to feel at home, but know that you were a friend, and that as long as I live here, you will be welcome. And when our people are finally free, I know many of my brothers and sisters will welcome you too. Don't stress out about the roof. You won't be instantly mutated. I have heard tales. But yeah, what a beautiful place. Natural, organic, how refreshing. Humans should take notes. This city makes me sad. You're not gonna cry, are ya? I just had these seats cleaned. I mean, I think I would have liked to, you know, know before of its existence. It's all right. Sad is too grandiose. Wistful, yes, wistful. By Jove, I've done it. So soon, were you able to find us weapons? As promised, should be enough to get you going. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I know I've already asked you for a lot, but they are not used to fighting. Is there any way you could give them a lesson? Just a, a friendly fight. It'll help them get started. Sure, why not? I'll try not to hurt them. Scum was chosen. He has already proven he can lead our people. And his speech was so moving. Fix this alone. Better get Amelia to give me a hand. I think we got everything you need. You able to fix the pump now?
Now that we are at full strength, we must devise a way to compromise Victor's popularity at the assembly. I've got a lead. There's this grizzled old general who's been bitching about the lack of info he gets about Aurora. Right now, he's the only one with the balls to call Victor the dictor incompetent. According to him, the Aurora dowsers down Shit Creek and may have been booted off his post. If we can prove that General is right, it isn't just some senile old man. Maybe the army's head honchos will be pissed enough at the colonel to kick his buns in the sun. But we would need hard evidence. I'm almost positive that Dandolo can help us. Noctis sends merchants everywhere, after all. We also have some connections with Technomancers over there. They should be able to tell us what happened. We could try Anton. Aurora's a little far, but there's no place that's safe from Anton's little birds. It's a start. Even if abundance is run from the top down, members of the Assembly would pay attention to uprisings. Some of your local allies could help you stir up some anger in the masses. The ASC has made their lives miserable for months. People are arrested on a whisper, live huddled in fear. It would not take much to spark the powder keg. It's a good idea, but we can't influence entire populations by ourselves. We'd need allies hidden among the people. Back when I was an artist, I got into some altercations with assembly members who thought my shows were blasphemy. Maybe it was because I didn't say hail to the shadow 50 times. I can't say for sure, but if we could get them to think that Victor isn't a devout believer, we could get the large religious sect of the assembly to revoke their support and demand his banishment. Or we could just give them a little nudge in the right direction by making them believe Victor steals relics for his own use. We'd have to stage an elaborate setup, but I like it. After all, the trickster must get what he gives. We'll need volunteers that could pretend to be ASC. The plan is right up Anton's alley. It's possible for Dandolo or the opposition to help us out too. One last thing. I was told the High Judge endorses all of Victor's decisions, even though I know for a fact that he hates him. Which is more than a bit strange. The Judge is such an honest man. Or if you're in the mood to make a scandal, I've got everything we need. Did you know that Victor employs young women to worm out information on men he keeps tabs on? And I'm not Victor, but I have a feeling he used that info to blackmail these same men. If we can prove it, the Assembly would have a major meltdown. Their beloved Colonel, a pimp. To find evidence of his trafficking, we could look for the orders he gave his goons. Have you seen his hands? Far too immaculate to be doing this dirty work himself. Avori aren't doing anything about it. He must be profiting from it somehow. This is a dead end. We need to find a new approach. Indeed. How's this? I've heard that a small faction of the Assembly blindly backs up Victor, no matter how crazy the project is. So I believe it almost certain that their chief of this faction was bribed. So unless we bribe him ourselves, we'll have to silence him. It's not ideal, but I have no way of finding out what dirt the ASC has on that man. We'll have to go without his support, and hope we can get enough voters elsewhere. All these ideas will indeed cut off Victor from his support network. But? This is going to sound self-interested, but if we could help the mutants escape from the pen, it would expedite the Colonel's downfall. The people and the Assembly would be outraged to know that after decades of civilized control, Victor was the one who couldn't keep them in check. I'd like to see the Colonel try to justify his mistake of so many slaves, particularly ones notorious for their feeble minds. No, it's not selfish. It's a good plan. We're gonna help mutants in the pen prepare their escape. After a mass breakout like that, his reputation will never be the same. Thank you, all of you, for the ideas. Now let's make them happen. Hi. Zachariah, to what do I owe this privilege? I got your well taken care of. No more creature and it runs like new. A man of your word. Take this for your time and help. And if you have more time to help us, a serious matter has come to my attention. Our observers in Ophir report that a mutant group there now faces execution. Punishment for refusing to complete their tasks. Probably fixing the city shutters. Aurora's attacks blew a hole in Ophir's roof, considering how important it is to get it fixed. 
Humans hurt other humans and mutants face death. Yes, well, they are being held apart from the rest. They must be saved, Zachariah. I'll do what I can. Can't guarantee anything, though. Your best is better than our nothing. My brothers in Ophir have suffered enough. Greetings, Zachariah. Rumor is Aurora's dowser was deposed. I need to know it's more than rumor, though. If it's true, we might be able to convince some members of the Assembly that Victor needs to go. Even though I don't like the idea of continuing the conflict between Abundance and Aurora, that has caused so much suffering. If it's what needs to be done to dethrone Victor... I have a few contacts among Aurora's Technomancers. They're not quite brothers, but they're at least like cousins, and I've heard their messengers nearly always follow one particular shadow path. Let me show you. This one here. If you go, you may be able to stop one of their couriers. If the news you're expecting is as important as you say, I'm sure it will be in the documents they are carrying. Thanks, Melvin. Zachariah, I've received a message from Dandolo. He has some information on the disappearance of patients. Really? Did he learn where he was taken? The ASC had him locked up in an old dome near Ophir. In his message, he says that it's a dome that Technomancers used to use. Does this sound familiar to you? Hard to forget. Yes. That's where initiations would take place before a mantis destroyed everything. We'll have to go free him. The place must be teeming with soldiers fighting for Victor. But we can't leave the old Technomancer in their hands. weird but I thought the dome was in ruins so then where'd they put that old geezer there should be a few standing structures next to the ones that collapsed unless they've already started clearing the rubble that sounds like bad news it would be there were secrets in those ruins I would rather have stayed buried especially from the ASC that's the problem with secrets all that time spent worrying about someone finding out it's a burden that turns into a habit, that turns into obsession. I know you're just as scared about what's in the dome as what patients might reveal. I just hope the old man's still holding on. He's as stubborn as an unfed ostrich. But I don't know if it'll be enough in the hands of the ASC. Poor patients. He thought he was finally safe in Noctis. Instead, we threw him straight back into Victor's arms. What do you mean? We saved him from that camp. It's just... We must have attracted the attention of Victor's spies when we asked Dandolo to keep an eye on him. He was supposed to be just another nobody in Noctis, but our request ended up selling him out. These thugs, more like cavemen with bigger sticks, don't understand respect, science, age, or knowledge. Any problem they can't solve, they'll use torture. What's two plus two? Uh, I don't know. Let's torture the mathematician and find out. Ugly brutes. If they take power in abundance, they'll turn it into a Darwinistic jungle. A whole group of psychopaths wanting to take control of everything through mindless violence. 
Sounds like this story hits close to home. It's true. I understand what that poor technomancer must be going through. The pain. So, I hope we find him soon. We'll have to be careful. The place must be teeming with troops. And as much as I believe in the honest run and gun, if they hold patients hostage, our rescue plans might have to be a bit more... sophisticated. You're right. This is where you were initiated. Yeah, but the dome was in better condition, and the ASC weren't here. There was a giant mantis, though. A giant mantis? Don't tell me that was part of the initiation. No. <laughs> the area had decoys dressed as thieves. The monsters were unplanned. Though I learned a lot from the experience. If it weren't for my master, I would have died down there. It must be strange coming back. All the memories. Oh! 
Patience, wake up! Patience, come on! Damn it, they almost killed him. Stop! Let me go. I won't tell you it. Zack? Zack? Holy shit, is it really you? What the hell happened to you? I was on the way back to my place. There, there was someone behind me, and, and before I could turn, he was on me. Next thing I knew, I woke up in a cell. Ugh, they tortured me for days. Wanted me to talk, wanted me to tell them everything I knew about you. What you were, what you were doing, what we found. You figure out what the tablet said? Unfortunately. If I hadn't, then I wouldn't have been able to tell them anything, but I, I just finished when they found me. What did you tell them? Uh, at the beginning, I fought, Zack. I did. I fought. Didn't say a damn thing. Then, then Victor came. And the shit he did to me, Zack, you have no idea. I didn't tell him everything. I, I didn't, but but I had to tell him something, or, or I told him what I found in the tablet. Everything. I'm so sorry. I, I... Stop. I... It's... it's fine. You did what you could. Everyone's got a breaking point. What did it say? It talked about a giant research base that was able to keep in contact with Earth. They had a beacon and gave the base's coordinates. I mean, the coordinates won't have to date anymore, so I had to recalculate them, but it's in the South Pole, Zack. It's protected by a huge layer of ice. All right, let's untie you and get you out of here. find the City of Ice before they do, Zachariah. If Victor finds the beacon, he could use it to gain the people's trust. Furthermore, if he finds the secrets buried there... He's got a head start, but we'll catch him. Aye, aye, Zach. But if it's really the City of Ice... What? I'll have to make some mods. It'll be tougher than you think. Also, wear an extra layer or two if you don't want to freeze your nuts off. Big Ice City? Reminds me of... A tangent that'll lead to another tangent? No, I... Yes, that was it. As long as Victor has the Assembly's blessing and the full support of the ASC, it'll be pointless to look for that city. With this huge resource advantage, he beat us there every time. What do you think we'll find in that lost city? You know, besides the beacon. I suspect the settlers brought back plants and animals from Earth, and probably left some in that base. And if just a few survived, we could find an ecosystem unlike any on Mars, completely sheltered by the ice. Why should we go to this city instead of just overthrowing Victor? What are you planning? I'm looking for a beacon. I want to get in touch with Earth, but not so I can run from the ASC, and so I can reunite with our ancestors, gain back everything we've lost. With the people of Earth, we can stop the wars over water. We can utilize the technology we lost. We can understand the choices they made. That sounds perfect. Too perfect. I hope what we find doesn't disappoint you. Um, meet Patience. We just broke him out of one of the ASC's jails. He could use a place to recover. Then he is welcome to recover here. Our healers, Patience, will be honored to tend to your wounds. Oh, that would be great. Thank you. All this reminds me of an old hiding spot I had in the desert. Thank you again, both of you. This is real nice and all, but I don't know about all this. About what? I'm guessing you're gonna want to go to that city, right? Right. Problem is, that city's coordinates, according to what Patience said, is the South Pole. Rover's good, but it ain't that good. Any way to make it that good? I don't know. Gotta think about it. I mean, it'd need some sort of ice-breaking blade in the front and insulation around the whole thing. If I know you, I'm sure you'll figure it out. <laughs> I like your faith in me, but... Problem is, I don't have a damn clue how to add all that heavy shit to the rover's frame without slowing it down like fucking crazy. My dad would have known what to do. Not my dad, though. I knew he'd made improvements to his machines, but I don't remember seeing any diagrams. Though they could be somewhere in the shed. I don't know. Maybe Scott could help us? We can ask, I guess. Then head to the shed with him. See what we find. Gonna be damn fucking cold out there, Zack. 
Maybe we should go borrow some gear from Victor. He's known the site's coordinates a lot longer than we have. I'm sure he's built some cold weather equipment already. I like the way you think, Zack. station and I'll stop your train dead in its tracks. Good thing they don't have a rover. Got that right. Aurora might have won the war and be overflowing with technomancers, but they don't have decent fucking vehicles.
You a messenger? I... look, I can't tell you anything. Please, if I, I... I can't. The information I have is... I know, I know, but you're gonna have to comply. Train stopped. I'm gonna need your tablet and all the information that you can provide me about your dowser. What? I would never jeopardize Aurora. Either way, you're gonna give me what I want. You can give it to me, or I can pry it from your cold, dead hands. I would rather die a loyalist than live as a traitor. <laughs> Is I don't what would prompt such barbarity? Is there any explanation in this tablet? There's talk of treason, but no details or motives are mentioned. Wimbledon's mind has always had a distinct love for shiny old trinkets. So peculiar, so illogical. Most people wouldn't take a second thought and recycle most of these immediately. Unless, of course, you told them it came from the colonial bill. Suddenly, the value skyrockets. The clergy's obsession with objects from the past makes these the perfect lure. I don't like the idea of using the more expensive relics for this trick. Repent! We won't have access to the Blue Paradise. I had something else in mind. I'd like to buy back the relics I brought to you the other day. What? No. I guess I'll just have to take them back. Shadow, protect me! Please, have mercy. I'll sell them. I'll sell them! I'm sorry that offer has expired. Now, if you'd please hand them over. The sun will damn you a thousand times for this. Beating and robbing a leader of the faithful. Here's the key to the temple safes. Sorry, pal, can't go through. Priest ordered us to let no one through. No one includes you. Sorry, pal, can't go through. Sorry, pal, can't.
Do you have any things from the old? I'm looking to buy some. Not an easy thing. I'll take them all. Zachariah, what can I do for you? I need your help. I'm trying to compel some assembly members to withdraw their support for Victor. You have my attention? There's a fraction of religious assembly members that would be appalled to learn Victor keeps certain relics for personal use. And if they did, it's all but certain that they would drop their endorsements and exile him. And how exactly do you plan to prove that? No, oh, just by making Victor's relic collecting a little more visible to the public eye. Imagine a few ASC agents carrying relics, along with orders stipulating that they bring these objects to the Colonel. They're chugging along, until they bump into a group of concerned citizens who insist they bring the relics back to the proper authorities. Ah, so I guess you'll play a concerned citizen while my men dress up as ASC agents. They won't be flattered. But if you provide the costumes, they'll take care of the rest. I am pleased to know that my use of disguises inspired you. Perhaps we'll own a theater together someday. Anyway, you can count on me. Mr. Man, sir, I was sent by an important citizen. He's in need of your help and promises great support in return. He is waiting at the curiosities for you. I'm guessing you're not gonna give me this important citizen's name. No, just he says he already owes you his life. I need to go. Can't risk people seeing us together. Goodbye.
Captain, good to see you. You hear the rumor about Aurora's dowser? Dismissed? Of course. We have a general who's dying to hear if it's true. It would open a door to recover what was taken from us. Tell your general he can stop dying, then. I took a tablet from an Aurora messenger. Confirmed everything. Where Victor failed, you succeeded. And it is exactly what our military commanders will think. Colonel's going to have trouble keeping support in the assembly with that out there. Well done, Lieutenant.
feel like an idiot. I feel like any jackass with two eyes is gonna know what Relax. No one besides Victor will find out what's going on. I promise you. <laughs> think he is bar and throwing you a mission like he owns you he must be a powerful guy who's used to getting his way most powerful guys are well I hate being treated like someone's a bitch just saying whatever right we need help kicking the shit out of Victor so shit their eyes are like hawks gonna have to clear them out or it's gonna be near impossible to talk to the guys inside there he is get him get him <laughs> Hey there. Hello? What does the man want? I'm Zachariah Manser. I'm an ally of the Free Mutants, and I need some information. She is listening, but is not sure she can help. I know the ASC's got secret facilities somewhere in the city. Probably in the slums. Probably use mutants to build them. I need to find them. You know where they are? The man was lucky to find her. She worked to build the place. She knows the path under the source that leads straight to it. She can show it on a map. Thanks. Yeah, that'd be a big help. Are you the chief around here? He is, yes. I am the chief of those who do not willingly bow to men. Do you wish to punish me? No, I'm Zachariah Manser. One of your people sent me. His name is Phobos. He asked me to help you run away. I know that name. I feel like I'm dreaming. A human? Offering to help us? I won't say no, but I hope I don't wake up soon. I need explosives so we can blast our way into the underworld, but I cannot make any here. They would spot any contraband on me right away. If you can find explosives, we'll be able to make a hole big enough for us to escape through. And I need to warn some groups. They'll also need to give a rousing speech. Many of them are terrified of disobeying humans. But maybe they'll listen to you. Anyway, there's one last problem. What? We have a mole. There's a brother here who works for the humans. I haven't figured out who, but if we don't flush him out, our escape plan will have failed before it even began. Any idea how to blow his cover? Not sure, but if the human brings up our legendary icons, like Phobos or Scum, he might try to overdo it and sing their praise to the moons. All right, I'll take care of it. This is still so odd, but I thank you. Hey. Hello, man. Can he help you? If he can tell me about Scum and Phobos, maybe. He has never heard those names. If you're not a mole, why didn't you try to escape with the rest? He... he is... scared. He has seen brothers caught trying to do so. The brothers were beaten, and worse, there... there is no escape. There is only death. I'll give you time to th So have you- so I'll give explosives to your chief. 
When I give the order, they'll make a breach leading to the underwork. And by going that way, your people can slip into the canyon undetected. No patrols, no violence, and you can finally be free. Explosives! If we could smuggle that in, then... Yes, we, we could. Yes, I'm beginning to believe. Maybe we can succeed. Count me in. Hello. What does the man want? I just want to know more about Phobos and Scum, if you wouldn't mind talking. He knows nothing of those names. Those names are not from the pen. All right. You don't want to get out of here, do you? Why? He does. He wants. If we try to leave, we will be killed like dogs. Believe it or not, a lot of you have gotten out of here and are living freely now. Scum escaped from prison camp with a lot of his brothers. That's how he became a legend. You know where he is today? Ruling Mutant Valley, waiting for all of you to join him, if you want. I... I have heard. Stories are told among us when we break. He would like to join being free. He would. Uh, yes. He would. Tell whoever is in charge that he is ready to be free. He... I... I, I can't stay here while my brothers escape. Tell the chief, I am ready to break free too. Does the man want? Quiet. Shut up. Scum sent me to free you and bring you to the Underworks. You should be able to get out from there. Scum sent you? He... Yes. Thank you. They had stopped hoping they could ever escape. They will follow you wherever you lead. If they go that way, man, they will die. They must go to the Underworks like man said earlier. Hi, Zach. How are you? Hello, Amelia. I'm gonna need some explosives to help the mutants escape through the Underworks. You have any? Good thing you asked the only girl on this planet who always carries a little nitro in her pocket for just such an occasion. I can make you some explosives, but not something I can do just anywhere. I could do it in my shed. Got reagents in there and enough room to work. It'll keep things safe, relatively speaking. Here we go. Through this trapdoor, you'll reach the Underworks. And from there, the canyons. The mutants and merchants will be more than happy to take you in and bring you to Mutant Valley. Go on. You're free now. Your Honor. I wish I'd known. You sent me that message? I need to talk to you. I've kept an eye on you since you saved me. 
I never believed the lies the Colonel's been spreading about you. I just, unfortunately, did not know how I could be of help. Victor is a power-hungry sociopath, driven by his personal goals, destroying abundance. I've known it for years, but could never do anything about it. Why not? Four years ago, my son disappeared, and soon after, I started receiving messages telling me that if I ever wanted to see him alive, I needed to make certain decisions in my court. I never knew for sure who was behind it, even if I had my suspicions. Only recently did it become clear. Every decision I was instructed to make cleared the way for Victor's rise to power. He's holding my son, making me his puppet. It has to stop. For my son, for abundance, do you hear me? I have seen your strength with my own eyes. Save my son, and I promise you will not from this day forward fight the ASC alone. With my influence in the Assembly, I could easily have you reinstated. I just want Victor to fall. That's enough for me. Any idea where he might be holding your son? <sighs> I wish I did. I know the ASC has secret facilities. Some say they're in the underworks. I don't know. Hearsay, perhaps. But if true, maybe someone in the army or mutants who helped build them might know better. I'll do my best, Your Honor. I promise. since I was back in my shed. Good to be home. Now, where do we start our search? No idea. I was hoping you'd point the way. I hope I'll be able to help you find what you're looking for, but if I were you, I wouldn't expect too much from us. Can't open the lock or break it. Gonna need the combination. Your old friend Mark apparently made drawings that diagrammed how he improved his rover. They gotta be around here somewhere. He ever talked to you about them? No, I don't believe him. That was some time ago, though. But, but I do recall his rover undergoing massive changes at some point. Vaguely, like a fuzzy, hazy dream. Do you remember where he'd put his tools and drawings? Mark was, was private and, and protective of his stuff. Didn't like people nosing around. And since he always had people visiting his shed, he would, he would take things. Tools and things into his bedroom when they came. I always found it curious why someone will want to sleep with a screwdriver, but to each his own. Right. Well, maybe they're still in there. Where did he use to put his valuables? Oh, Zachariah, I'm not, I'm not sure he had valuables. Not at least not in financial terms. Valuable with memories, perhaps. Those things he put in a locker, I believe, if I recall correctly. You ever look inside that locker, Amelia? No, I just... No. It had a big lock with a code on it. Never knew how to get in, and after a while, I just forgot about it. Also felt like going through his stuff was kind of acknowledging he was never coming back. Maybe I can break it open. I'll head back and check the shed. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky and find something. Well, yes, it is a very large shed. I'm sure you will find something, even if, if not something you're looking for. Can't open the lock or break it. Gonna need the combination. I know you didn't know him that well, and it was a real long time ago, but if you could remember anything... I'm trying, Zack. I'm doing my best. What else was important to your dad, other than his family? He was a reacher, so traveling in his rover. <laughs> I remember that rover. Remember one time we wrote this little mantra he had on the dashboard. What was it? I don't know, it was so... Something about time and exploration. Something about every soul being too short to explore all of Mars, but how each soul still brings a new discovery. Or something like that. Well, a soul's a Martian day. 
That's 24 hours, 39 minutes, 35 seconds. Worth a try? All right, I'm gonna start combing the place. Maybe we'll find something. Lead the way. Worked. Locker's open. Just needed to enter the duration of a soul. All for a single key. Without a damn clue what it even goes to. This drawing's hiding some sort of slot. Maybe it's a lock? Mark was quite the jester. He had the audacity, built a secret room in one of the army's sheds and hid a lock in one of his doodles. Oh, what a bold man. He was always the cooler one. His notes are pretty detailed about this icebreaker. He even lists all the materials needed to build it. I should be able to find them. Oh, and there's a drawing of the whole rover here. That's perfect! I can retrofit the front of my rover and just attach the icebreaker right to it. That brings something to my... Should we not perhaps insulate the machine as well, considering the horrifically low temperature conditions at the pole? Yeah, probably why he added a special coating to the shell. Some kind of light, flexible plate, if I'm reading the notes right. Doesn't say the exact material he used, though. Says how he attached it, but not what it's made of. It calls to mind the abandoned dome. All those boxes of insulation lying about. You remember? Perhaps we could... Hmm... More consideration, at the least. Yeah, that's... My dad's drawing, I could probably adapt him to the rover's frame. Why the hell were all those boxes there anyway? It's where the people who worked in the city beneath the pole lived. To live in those conditions, you better have insulation. Some damn thick skin. Maybe. Though the city shouldn't have been under the pole back then. It was nearby, not underneath. All the damn turmoil must have really fucked with the ice's structure. Only thing that's important, though, is you bringing those boxes back to me so I can make my baby cold weather resistant. Hi, Zach. Hello, Amelia. I'm gonna need some explosives to help the mutants escape through the underworks. You have any? No, but I can make you some real quick. Just takes a minute. Hi. Hi. What can he do for the man? He can tell me what he knows about Phobos and Scum. He knows only they're mutant rebels. 
escaped with many mutants to create a mutant nation that is the enemy of Mother Abundance. Traitors who were hiding far from here. Somewhere he does not know. Well, looks like we found our mole. Scared to leave than to remain. Oh, any punishment. Effects of broken will. Oh no, even with torture, even the desire for freedom could be broken. Well, hopefully they'll reach Mutant Valley and find a way to start again. Take this. It goes boom, boom. Wait for my signal. I'll tell you when to make a break for it. Thank you. I shall hide them while we wait. You'll be able to escape. I found your traitor and I convinced the others to follow you. So, we are ready. I hope that we will see each other again, Mancer.
You're not a member of the ASC. What, what are you... How did you get in here? You Simon Judge's son? Your father asked me to find you and bring you home. Bullshit. My father abandoned me years ago, and now he comes to rescue me from the only people who have cared for me since? He never gave a damn about me. Can't you see I'm happy here? The ASC is my new family. Get out! I'm not going anywhere. He didn't abandon you. The ASC kidnapped you, and have been using you to blackmail your father. He's been following their demands for the past four years, all to keep you safe. As soon as he learned about your whereabouts, he sent us to bring you home. Why the hell should I believe you? Because I'm telling you the truth. I know it doesn't make any sense right now, but the ASC's chief, Victor, had you kidnapped years ago to manipulate your dad. And your dad never knew who had you. Your dad only figured it out after he was asked to just openly support Victor's power grab. Once he knew, he sent us. I, I don't... but I... Where is he? If it's true, then where is my father? Go to the Curiosities, a bar in the slums. Wait there and your dad will meet you. If he's not there when you get there, just ask the bartender to hide you for a while. He's used to that kind of thing. Alright, let's go see the judge. Break the good news that his son's finally free of the fucking ASC.
What a nice jacket. I think I shall look quite chic in it. And look at that for you. You could even wear combat equipment beneath it without sacrificing comfort. It's remarkable.
judge will forgive the shape his son was in when he found him. Without proper care, the judge will just be happy to have his son back in any condition that's breathing. He'll get him back on track. Greetings, Mr. Law. I know you're a religious man, and from one man of faith to another, I wanted to give you these relics, and this message. Relics? Where did you recover these? Some friends and I overheard several ASC soldiers. They were gonna deliver these relics to Victor for his personal use. We were outraged by their sins. So as they made their way to the Colonel, we stopped their blasphemy from going any further. We attacked them, and recovered these relics. How despicable! Colonel Victor must be corrected if he feels he could desecrate our relics. Anyway, you showed great bravery, young man. We need more heroes like you. The Shadow won't forget you. I am sure of it. I'll return the relics to the People's House right away. And like all of us, the Colonel will pay for his sins. I'll tell my friends. Victor will receive our support no longer. Thank you, Mr. Law. I'm so glad I did the right thing. I was informed just now. There he is! Get Scott, him. out with it! Oh, yes, yes, uh, yes, I was told you. I wanted to talk to you about curiosity. The people of this world. Either way, he wanted your opinion. My hypothesis. Hot water, and you just need to make it boil.
You find your boy? Yes, yes, I sure did. He's in a safe place now. He's recovering. Being isolated as much as he was as well, it'll take time, I'm sure, for him to be back to his former self. Until then, I will find a way to turn the assembly against Victor. Let him try to get another law passed. It'll be like hitting a mountain. Thank you. No, Zachariah. It is I who am indebted to you. Not just for what you've done for my family, but for abundance, who deserves better than this tyrant. Hey, you wanted to see me? Ah, yes. Sorry we had to meet here. The source must have been difficult to get to, but I'm pleased to finally make your acquaintance. Yeah, this isn't exactly homey. What can I do for you? I've been informed about Colonel Victor's less wholesome activities and your role in revealing them. With the assembly in uproar, my group is trying to pick a stance amidst the chaos. Colonel Victor's scandals and his methods have shocked the members of the congregation and the common people. Continuing support of the Colonel is political suicide. The trust between the people and their leaders must be restored for the good of abundance. Politics is a game, and one very easy to cheat. Look around you. Do you see the people? They're scared. Angry. Victor's incessant intrusion has violated the privacy of their lives, their relationships. They no longer feel free. All this whistleblowing has shattered our sense of community. No one trusts each other, and vendettas and misunderstandings alike send innocents to be imprisoned, tortured, or killed at the ASC's whim. Colonel Victor won't stop until he pushes the people of abundance to flee or fight to the brink of revolution. You're painting a very dark picture here. What you're saying could happen, I agree. Victor's playing with fire and the flames grow with each passing day. We could lose everybody, our workers, our scientists, our soldiers, and they will be turned into our worst enemy. Corruption is rampant at every level of our corporation. But who can say no to Serum? Are you trying to bribe me? No, of course not. I was simply referring to the Colonel's buyouts of certain Assembly members. This back scratching has been toxic for abundance. For now, Victor roams unchecked. I agree. Alone, I can do nothing but agree. Perhaps it is time to gather truly honest men to represent the people of our great corporation. Our army's ranks are spread thin and filled with the Colonel's lackeys. If he wanted to seize power, declare martial law, Abundance wouldn't have the strength to repel him. And his unjustified arrests of our master technomancers forced them to flee, adding to our enemy's advantage in skilled forces. Many of our soldiers have deserted, some unwilling to participate in Victor's madness, others turned mad by his combat drugs. We must stop Victor before it's too late. Oh my. I did not realize Victor had taken things so far. This is grave news. You're right. We need to curtail the bleeding, so we can give our army a chance to rebuild. 
I remember a time when abundance was the crown jewel of Mars, the epitome of the best of doctors, technicians, scientists. But today, these bright minds are, oh, the horror, a travesty that Zachariah neglected to tell you about, the vilest scandal of all. My colleagues who don't run away are put away into re-education camps, giant brainwashing centers. This spiteful man you call Colonel is persecuting our best. Really? This is the first I've ever... If this is true, this is indeed a problem. Without our scientists, we'll soon lose our advantages over our rivals. Listen, man. I'm the poster girl of abundance. This city, it's my home. So when I see what this piece of shit, human garbage, Colonel Motherfucker has done to it, it makes me pretty pissed off. We can't let this continue! I think I now understand why we didn't include a caption with the photo. You are quite persuasive. You have convinced me. I will go and try to do the same to my peers. Of course, even with unanimous focus and direction, it will take months to regain the trust of our people and rebuild the strength of our army. But most urgently, we must remove the man who started it all. An extraordinary meeting will take place in a few hours, and I have no doubt that it will end with good news. No mercy for traitors! Treacherous scum! Two-faced bastard! Cut out his tongue! Fumbling fool! Throw him in with the mutants!
Nexus should still be open. I don't even think we could survive without it. Hi, Zach. How are you? Hello, Amelia. You can get the rover ready with all this stuff. As soon as I've got someplace quiet to work and the rover in front of me, I'll get going. You can get the rover ready with all this stuff. As soon as I've got someplace quiet to work... Andrew, I don't guess. Hello. All right, so you. Only thing I need left is some time. A day should do it. Want me to get started now? No reason to wait. Gotta be ready as soon as possible.
Hi. Zachariah. I helped free your brothers. Everybody? Did you save everybody? Yeah, every one of them, safe and sound. My, oh, Zachariah, Zachariah, you are priceless. All the lives you have saved, all the good you've done, thank you. <laughs> However, with my thanks, may I also ask another favor? Of course. Our growing nation is still trying to find itself. We can't continue to endure something that we feel is not true. But at the same time, we have this yearning to look to the past to help explain our creation. And you want me to help with that somehow? I'm not sure. We are undertaking research in attempt to understand the ties that still bind us to the settlers. Ah, and you want relics? Yes, to understand our connection to the past. But not just any relics. I've heard of two particular relics that might enlighten us, that might point to mutation before the turmoil, and that could finally cement our understanding. Not the kind of relics you find in a thief's inventory. No. From what I've heard, one's in Ophir, the other, Noctis. All right. I can try to find them for you, but just trust me. More often than not, relics don't give you the answers you hope they will. Zachariah, you look good. Hi, Nisha. Hi, Zach. Everything all right? Mr. Manser, it's good to see you. I'm happy to see you all still here. None of us will ever forget what you did for us, but we could still use your help. With all the new refugees coming in, we are running out of food. The valley is still young and can't produce enough crops for all of her children. I heard about a large shipment of food was being sent from the Ophir train station. A brother still works as a docker over there. He will surely help us. He can reroute the convoy to go through the nearest canyon, but that still means we'd have to stop the train. And this is where I come in. The only way to stop the train without hurting someone is if we place a small bomb under the train and set it off at the target location. I could make the bomb here, but I need raw materials. Once the bomb is finished, you take it to our brother in Ophir, recover the cargo, and bring that back to us. I see. I know that is asking a lot, but please. Some of us are beginning to starve. Any questions? About those bomb ingredients. Yes? You got them? Yes, it's all here. Take it. Thank you. I'll need some time to assemble it. Come back tomorrow. It'll be ready then.
That bomb ready? Yes. Take it, and give it to our brother in Ophir. He'll place it on the train, and after things go bang, bang, pick up the food under the shadow path. Don't worry. I've got it all down. In my head. Any questions? You mentioned a brother in Ophir. Where can I find him? He's a docker, but after several years, you could say he's versed in trains like an engineer. You'll find him at the wharves every day. Unfortunately, there's little rest for those who don't run away. Sorry, pal, can't go through. Priest ordered us to let no one through. No one includes you. Isaac. I'm really happy you're here. Yeah. I mean, I feel the same. Wouldn't want you to have had these crazy adventures beside anyone else. You're very loyal to the city. I admire it. How could I not be? Noctis welcomed me in, fed me, healed me, taught me. Everything I have. I only have because of this city. It allowed me to be who I am today. It's no different from your dedication to your technomancers. So, not sure it's worth your admiration, but it's nice of you to say, I guess. You always been alone? Or never had anyone you cared about? You mean guys? Why? You the jealous type, Zack. Afraid of some competition? Scared you won't measure up? <laughs> there was one guy, Nick. I was only ten, but I was head over heels for him. He died in the rehab camp after we were all deported around the same time, though. Other than him, 
Couple flings here and there, but nothing much more serious than that. You asking because you heard the rumors and no fear that I'd sleep with anyone wearing a medal? No, I was just... I did what I had to do, Zack. To do my job. Never cared about those guys. That's the truth. You just did what you had to do. I wanted to thank you for all your help, Zack. Not saying I needed it or... Or, you know, but... Having you beside me and all, it was, uh, it made it, it's just, you're a good guy, Zach. And it doesn't hurt that the good guy's got a face like yours. Maybe, you know, later, if you had time, we could meet up. Just the two of us. I'd be lying if I didn't think that was a great idea. Next break we have. Good. Then I'll be seeing you in your room soon. Clothing's optional. Fireworks? Hmm, yes. He is the one you are looking for. What can he do for you? Here's the package. Try not to blow yourself up. Thank you. He will try not to, if all goes to plan. Wanna bust out of this joint? It's not that Ophir's a drag. It's just with all these ASC snooping around, I'd rather play it safe. And no, that's not boring.
can't do this. Here you go. I hope this shipment will be enough for a while. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take this. I know it's not much, but I want you to have it.
Hi. Zachariah, to what do I owe this privilege? I found the relics you wanted. Here you go. Remember what I said, though. Oh, Zachariah, you... Yes, of course. I am not a blind optimist. Just someone looking for sparks of knowledge and understanding. With such little expected, there is little chance for disappointment. And if the relics raise only more questions, then we will go in search of more answers. Hi, Nisha. Hi, Zach. Zach? Want some company? If it's yours. I think I'm falling in love. I may be too.
here. We're finally here. I hope the beacon of this lost city actually works. For fuck's sake, it's better. Walking to the pole would be a pain in the ass. Our rover mods have made my baby more sluggish than... Well, me after a few drinks. Anyway, I can tell you that we aren't the first to go down this path. You think it's the ASC? Not sure, but I can make out tracks. Some of which look older than you. Ah, uh, this brings back memories. What else is fucking new? No, I... I've been down that road before. Yeah, I'm... 50, 90, 100% sure. It's with your father. And you couldn't say that earlier? I... I, I wasn't familiar with the road. I'm sorry. I, I just didn't realize that this was the city that we... All right, settle down, you two. Let's not dwell on the past. We can do that later, when it's warm. But Scott, if you've been here before, your memories could be useful. How strange. This feels like we're going back in time. I wonder how this will change things between humans and mutants. If we contact Earth, many things will change. And if we have any say, those changes will be for the betterment of all mutant kind. Soothing words, but I cannot help but be suspicious. They may be our ancestors, but I have the feeling they won't be pleased with their descendants. I wonder if Victor's beat us to the punch. If he did... He wouldn't destroy it. He couldn't. He's an egomaniac. He'd just want credit for being the first to turn it. No, what worries me is what happens if he discovers our secret. Either way, it's time to end this. Time for a little payback. Mancer style. Zack, I'm nervous. Whatever we discover could change our lives, and everyone's on Mars. Do we really want to contact a planet that has neglected us for so long? If we don't do it, someone else will. And they might have less than pure intentions. True. Better us than someone like Victor. But still, it's such a... precarious responsibility. What are you doing here? I was just reading, and I found out. Shit, this is your fault. You knew? That we're all mutants? Yes, that's the secret. The one we share at initiation and bear into our grades. The one we try to protect at any cost. Do you understand why now? You, the others. I could see it. I wouldn't even be surprised, but me? Never. I could never be one of those abominations. We all have the genes that the settlers made. Just like Great Master Ian was. Just like Sean was. Just like Connor, Melvin, Andrew, and I are. You are a mutant, Alan. Shut up! Not another word! <laughs> Are you done? I... I am sorry, Zack. What have I done? I've tried so hard to destroy you and the others. Wanted so much to be the best. That I ended up rushing my brothers, my sisters, towards their ruin. 
You were so gifted, so loved by our masters. I hated you and them with a passion, and I could never understand why. I was blind, stuck believing that I deserved to be special. If I only knew that then. He knows you know, because of me. You're talking about Victor. Yes. He was there when we found the documents, and the moment they were in his grasp, he looked at me like a piece of meat and started laughing. The charm melted away and the cruelty came. You have to kill him, Zack. If he survives. I know. I'll do my duty. Question is, what should we do with you? Normally I'd tell you what a non-dumbass would do, but I'm gonna keep my trap shut for this one. This is about your kin, and after what he's done, he's gotta answer to you, and only you. Careful, Amelia. The city is hiding much more than just treasure. The rover probably belongs to the ASC. The bridge collapsed behind them, but Victor couldn't have gone too far. Better keep my guard up. the city, so I can't say it's a surprise. No, but I hope it's the last time we cross paths with Victor's grunts. Getting pretty sick of their faces.
Zachariah Manser. I was wondering if you'd make it this far. But I must admit you're particularly sharp. For a mutant. You are too late. I've already discovered the dark secret that your kind has hidden for so long. However, this city... Amazing, isn't it? So full of wonders. A complex of keys to a brand new world. That doesn't matter. You're not gonna live to see it. Really? Do you intend to kill me? Like that poor boy, Jeff? You won't get the opportunity, I'm afraid. My men are a little bit on edge after what you did to their comrade. Now, if you would be so kind, I'm going to pry that last secret out of the belly of this city. The one that will give me a hero's welcome back at abundance. And help me impose a new world order. Farewell, Zachariah. Chin up. Thanks to your hard work, Abundance will now have a bigger, brighter future. Sorry to bother you, but I'm gonna have to stop you right there. I have to admit, even after everything, you are still full of surprises. Such tenacity. Your efforts are futile. Don't you understand? If not me, someone else is bound to reveal your secret. So why not use this revelation as an opportunity? As a chance to promote the corporation that raised you? You're the one who doesn't realize he's playing with fire. And that even tyrants can burn. We shall see. He was one evil, blood-sucking motherfucker. Ironic, to say the least. Please tell me that's your stomach. Afraid not, but whatever it is, it sounds big and angry. We better hurry to Center City.
Surely the beacon is here. This place is breathtaking. The ice has preserved it well. Initializing star system display. Connection to Earth in progress. Connection failed. Extrapolating incomplete data. Updating star system display. Destroyed. Earth is gone. All these years wasted dreaming of a rescue from a place that's nothing but a cloud of scattered rocks. Everyone on Mars, if they hear of this, they'll be devastated. What am I gonna tell them? What should I do, Andrew? Wish I had the perfect answer for you. But I can only tell you how I feel. And I feel that people deserve the truth. The truth will set us free, right? Without a doubt, it will cause riots, maybe even wars. But you'll finally give people a chance to leave their lives of ignorance. Knowing that Mars is all we have is a scary thing, but it's just as liberating. And ceasing to pretend that technomancers are human will let you, me, and all our brothers and sisters live openly, free and proud. And I'm sure that Noctis or Mutant Valley would welcome us if the Corporation's views on us turned sour. What do you think, Nisha? I think it's our responsibility to tell the world that there's nothing to expect from the outside. But we have to do it gently. Otherwise, we'd be looking at a worldwide revolution. And if you reveal your true colors to abundance, it won't accept you for who you are. But you know you'll always be welcome at Noctis. Whatever happens, your support could shift the balance of power on Mars, and what better city to pick than Noctis, the one place that accepts all walks of life, human or mutant. What do you think I should do, Amelia? Grow a pair of ears, will ya? I say, cut the bullshit. Tell everyone the truth. It'll suck in the beginning, but only by knowing will people start growing. <laughs> Damn, I should be a poet. Abundance might fall, but after what they did to us, sucks to suck. Then we could always crash in Noctis or Mutant Valley, right? Scott, I need advice. It's a difficult decision indeed. I, I would be tempted myself to spill the beans, as you youths would say, but I still... Eh, I know from experience that the truth is quite like a mushroom cloud. Do you want to set off bomb. Not just one, but two terrible, awful, catastrophic secrets. I shuddered. But, Zack, nothing stops us from going home. With Victor's passing, you would undoubtedly, well, there's always a small chance, likely become the great master of Abundance's Technomancers. And you could do great things for our corporation and our city. Help science. Stop corruption. Restore justice. You could do it all, my boy. Just right now, I, I would very much like for us to go home and live none the wiser. What would you do if you were me, Phobos? I would reveal everything. The truth is not comforting, but it has proven us right. We decided to build our future here on the Red Planet, our planet, because there is nothing waiting for us out there. 
It's just a shame that humans haven't done the same. Show your true face to the world. Let the humans throw their tantrums and come join us in Mutant Valley. You and the Technomancers could help us turn our city into a nation. And together, we could make the world a paradise where everyone can be proud of who they are, not ashamed of what they are. After all, aren't we brothers? It's time for the truth. There'll be no more hiding, no more secrets. I'm gonna tell them of Earth's destruction and reveal the true identity of every single Technomancer on the planet. This news will send shockwaves across Mars, but it's the first step for changing our planet. For the better. Let's go. Mutant Valley awaits. Looking back now, I bet I wouldn't even recognize the young Zachariah Mancer who just earned his stripes. And little did I know that all my choices would compound together and shape the city under the ice. By allowing Bolgakov safe passage out of the city, the Resistance survived and thrived, and their support later proved invaluable. Despite my orders, I couldn't bring myself to kill my fellow man, so I let the deserters go and arrested their leader instead. I found him broken down in a re-education camp much later. I remember letting poor Dave go, understanding he only betrayed me to protect his family. Meanwhile, a more dangerous spy was hiding in my shadow. Despite everything Jeffrey did to me, I couldn't let Nisha shoot him down like a dog. And even in all my efforts to be a good soldier, I was still exiled from Ophir. No matter what happened, Victor was always going to discredit me. Yet my decisions of friends, alliances, would greatly influence the events that followed. The day I left Ophir in a stolen rover was the day I had chosen the people alongside me to become my companions, through adventure, misfortune, and into battle. Later, I agreed to help Dandolo chase the Vori out of Noctis, for good, cutting them off at the bridgehead they hoped to use to infiltrate every settlement on Mars. And because of that, Anton came close to paying the ultimate price when his men picked him as the scapegoat. But he's not a man you get rid of that easily. By becoming the great master of Technomancers, I've earned their unwavering loyalty. But I've also accepted a lifelong responsibility. Since I've left the city under the ice, I've had many young apprentices, and the Order is powerful again, our future bright. Scum keeps the young mutant nation alive and well, and with Phobos' help, he has managed to repel corporations' troops, time and time again. And with the incoming surge of refugees, you'd be a fool to bet against Mutant Valley. It's destined to become the most powerful force on Mars. The release of the mutants of Ophir opened a breach that was never resealed. Thousands upon thousands of mutants escaped to join Mutant Valley. And today, the citizens of Abundance actually have to do the labor themselves. Nisha still runs missions for Dandolo, but I can tell her heart's not in it. I think she's beginning to see that her father figure, as charming and caring as he may appear to be, is really a master manipulator that won't hesitate to make less than ethical choices to serve the best interests of his city. I don't mind. It gives me more time to spend with warm, loving, beautiful, real Nisha, and less time with cold, calculating, and, okay, still beautiful super spy Nisha. And she's finally starting to sing again. And I dabble in harmony. I visit Scott on occasion. He's still probably legally crazy, but he's found a way to use that eccentric energy for good. He treats children in the slums of Ophir, though this time he's not using them as guinea pigs. The army's role in taking down Victor allowed it to regain its honorable post as the protector of abundance. The generals have powerful representatives at the assembly again. Then even if the corporation has lost some luster and prestige after the colonel's reign, at least it can properly defend itself. Dandolo made the most of our alliance, as you would expect. Noctis is now ubiquitous. Its merchants have obtained the right to citizenship in Ophir, and are free to come and go from the exchange as they please. Yet nothing compared to my revelations. Learning that Earth was destroyed, discovering that Technomancers were mutants crafted in the vision of the settlers. When I announced the truth, the corporations lashed out. 
there were widespread riots and revolts, and most Technomancers fled before the leaders of the Alliance could put the pieces together. To adapt to Mars, we had to mutate, or we wouldn't survive. Remaining human had only been an illusion, and one that we had unknowingly mastered. I heard that a few scientists have reproduced Scott's experiments, and I have no doubt there'll be more of us in the future. One day, Mutant Valley won't be the only place a mutant can call home. Instead, it'll be the capital for a race spread across Mars. At least that's what I hope.